right like right now like technically we can't really have all the knowledge in the world but if we don't have really a vision of what the future is going to be then maybe that's not e even useful right all the knowledge in the world uh. and i feel like sometimes in in a world like this you can see so many things going on you may kind of lose grip with what is the ideal future like what we talked about today like how do you find the ideal future or paradise and what does that look like mm -hmm. there's something that I, I just want to tell everybody to to get ready to expect soon uh maybe faster than you think and that is that ai is actually going to replace the internet huh what you mean yeah. listen listen to what i'm saying technically statement. right now if you can see how we're really being controlled we already talked about that there's a control right now through the money mm -hmm. and also the internet is playing really a big role in that right now too because the internet became the place that is like the open marketplace right right so just very briefly a few a couple months ago the there was a huge lightning storm it blew out the router on the fiber optic side so we had to wait two days for them to get the internet back going happened yeah. to be over a weekend yeah. and in those two days i had like the most powerful vision about the future mm -hmm. of how when i didn't i kind of had to get over the fan what i call the phantom internet thing which was basically like you would just go to get on the internet real quick and you realize that there is no internet <laughs> So it's kind of like you reaching for your phone, but if your phone battery died and you're somewhere else, you're like, oh, shit, my battery died, right? So there was like this phantom in getting on the internet to do something. And my inner voice was speaking and was like, what do you, what do you, need, you need to do with the internet? Why do you keep having to access the internet? I want you to isolate that real quick in your mind. And what it was, was to get information. And I can remember, because I've been on the internet since Prodigy, I'm like, 46 years, 46 years old now. So I saw them roll the internet out. I'm old enough for that, right? And I can remember that our main goal of getting on the internet was to get information. All of a sudden it opened up all this ability to get into all these libraries and to get all this knowledge. And what came right after that though, like what was second in place was communicating with people from other countries and basically meeting new friends, right? But it wasn't primary because I have friends before I got on the internet, just like, you can make friends without the internet and many of your friends, you would pretty much know them whether you had internet or not. So I was able to isolate this, listen to where I'm coming from. I was able to isolate that the internet really became like, it took over a lot of things because we have to keep accessing it every time we want to know something or stay in tune. And then now it's in chat. Now it's also entwined with our, with our, uh, how we get paid and stuff. So here's the vision of the future. Right now, we're running local AI. This means that I don't need internet to have AI. And when I say AI, you know, because as you know, everybody thinks they got their own ideas about what AI is, but we're just saying large language models. We're saying that everything that was learned on Earth, science, math, everything is in one drive. We'll put it like that. And if you can spin up that drive, you can ask questions about anything, especially stuff that you don't know about and keep moving through your day. So if I need to like know about this specific plant because this plant is not growing properly and I need to build a structure for this plant, mm -hmm. I can walk my, my, my way all the way through that process with never even accessing the internet. It's the same thing for pretty much everything across the board. I just walk myself through nanomedicine by just using my own local LLM, right? And never accessing the internet. And it got me to thinking, See, in the past, the reason why communities have failed is for a multitude of reasons, but the real underpinnings was one, lack of resources, where generally maybe one or a few people were bringing all the money, so they actually decided to have all the power, and then the community kind of went left that way. Also, when the people are allowed to interact too much with the world, and they start bringing in the residue from the world, that's why a lot of communities try to stay you know, away from the world and keep their members and things away from the world that gets, you know, real cult like for sure. But then also in that community, if there is only indoctrination, even if, you know, sometimes the doctrine could be sound, but just giving a person only that and excluding everything else from them, then creates like a mind that doesn't really know how to explore for itself, doesn't really know how to embark on new things. It just believes the doctrine or the dogma. So in the event they have to function without that, it doesn't work out too well. And you see, 
that happen with people who've been a part of communities for a long time. So I start realizing the real vision in the future is to begin to create communities where there are groups of people who are extremely motivated to see results and make results happen. And these communities start working with what we just call advanced intelligence, meaning that there is advanced intelligence on the facilities. So anything that we need to know how to do, we don't never have to go to the internet or even too far outside the community to learn how to do it. In addition to that, we also get to a stage where as a people, we stop plugging into something that still it's hard to avoid getting the bad story. When you hit the internet, you're almost guaranteed to get flooded with all the stuff that would give an average person or somebody who's responsible for other people a lot of anxiety because you would be unsure about the future. And so again, I'm not just telling you what we're doing. What I'm doing is giving you a vision of how things actually begin to merge here in the future for a more ideal reality without plunging us back into the Stone Age. Because a lot of people's idea about what things should be is not even sustainable. Like they're like, hey, let's go back on this land, live like indigenous people. The indigenous people are living, I'm in Costa Rica, there are people that live on their own land and on their own land, they drink like crazy, they argue, they fight, they don't have any money, their lights go off at a certain time. So it's, it's not necessarily a solution to move back to the jungle. So I'm also saying no internet, not no power, right? Because we could pull power from the sun. But again, if you visualize now an institution with people who are motivated to grow, build, and create resources, because you got advanced intelligence, so it's all about just collaborating with people in the community about what do we feel like is the most advantageous, the most wholesome thing that we should go into creating next. But then we're not limited to like, oh, okay, but now we got to go and get funding from this Fortune 500. And then we also need to bring this person in and somebody that knows about this and somebody knows about this. You wouldn't be limited to that. So what I'm saying is, is that this to me, it brought some joy into my heart because I kept thinking about like, how am I going to like, how can, how can I ground into this? And, and I'm just saying, let's listen to what I'm saying. You can't also, you can't turn on any of these powers either with being one foot in the dimension and one foot out. Meaning that there's a lot of people who they can't still figure out if they are going to like ground in here and do something about this or create a family here or create a projection here, especially like our women for, you know, in certain ways, it's like, you're asking a woman to make a kid here and, you know, shoot, we depending on the bank and the inflation, you see what I mean? So even the subconscious mind would be a little troubled about, hey, what is what is really the future going to consist of? Because this looks like we're headed into nothing but problems. And I'm saying, no, that's not what's happening. What's happening is the, the wheat and the chafe are being separated. You're finding the people who you really rock with, that you really are vibrating with. We call it tribe. Mm -hmm. And then if you realize that advanced intelligence is here rather than throwing stones at it, because that's what's happening right now. You tell somebody AI and they feel like you traded on everybody, right? They don't even know you can run AI locally and that open AI is not the only AI company, that there's open source models that, and these things are just intelligent packets, right? And when you have one, you don't need to rely on other people's intelligences and all that kind of stuff to get to you, the conclusion that you're looking to reach. And as we're seeing, we're quite creative when left to our own vices, meaning that when we're not being distracted or told what we should be, you should be an influencer or you should do this. You should go to OnlyFans. We have brilliant ideas that will easily make the top of the charts of these industries of what we're seeing today that people are actually buying, okay? But you need a collective when you're moving because you need to move into other countries. You need to be able to work with other languages. Like Sybil has 98 languages, right? So it speaks Greek, French, and, and different dialects and, and African languages and all that the same way with the same knowledge, right? So it removes all of those barriers that we would have in a community or as a people and getting coordinated to actually make big things happen and then really see the results. 
All you would need is people who are really actually about that life versus just saying that they are or people who are really creative that can do things versus those who are not willing even to teach themselves how to do it or those who rely on others for it. So when you see that vision, you can see we're not that far from something like that. Mm -hmm. We're not that far from you moving off somewhere with your community, with your land, and developing that out to the most beautiful module that anybody has seen. This is a new innovation. This is exactly how communities of the future should be. Mm -hmm. And as I said before, not getting thrown into the stone ages and being uh, like going back in time, getting back your moccasins on and everything like and separating from society and being alienated like you have no contribution here. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that I just wanted to end with that. And, you know, watch how fast it rolls. But understand third party and conclusion is already doing this. Mm -hmm. And third party is my term for people who already have a lot of wealth and they moved on from trying to be at the mall and trying to be, you know, just they're, they're not, you don't see them really anywhere. You see them in their domicile, their communities developing with their families. And they're even using local AI to fix out, fix their health problems, mm -hmm. get their diets together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So this is what I really visualize as, as a optimal part of a potential future that we can begin to inhabit because we're merging really the best of all of these worlds. Right. Mm. But yeah, I'll just leave it at that. It doesn't mean the community won't have internet at all. It just means that it won't be in that kind of way where, you know, you're just there with social media and all that and you're trying to make money. You'll actually be building things mm -hmm. and developing those things and then shipping those things to different parts of the world. Amazing. Like we manufacture here, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to put that in to some's minds and hearts about like what this can really turn into for them. You know, I'm Six, so you know they got a certain amount of time that they say I'm going to be here, right? But let's say these cats that are still 16, 18, they're almost guaranteed to be here for another 30 years, right? What is that going to really look like? You mm -hmm. see what I mean? So if you move in this direction, it ends up as you like, so I said, like the black Tony Stark, black Iron Man somewhere, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Creating inventions that re regenerate and actually restore the ancient mysteries and you know, you got curriculum. So you see to I me, mean? all that is more of the direction that we're progressing towards if, if things go well versus <laughs> all out ignorance. You know, we're fighting and, and that kind of stuff. Listen, look at how in their societies and the secret societies, they're together. Yes. You see to I me, mean? that's the main thing they teach in the secret society is that, hey, we're all together. We're all bound by these tenets. Mm. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then on our side, though, they will push to us, oh, you need to divide. <laughs> you need to be separate. You need that. Then, then, see, so it's separation for us. That's taught to us. But it's getting together. That's what they that's what they teach the, each other. You see what I mean? So we for sure need to we see which one benefits over time. It's like no matter what the difference is, that's just like what 19 Key said. We can argue about the differences in our gods. When we get out of slavery, <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> right now, it's time to talk to the leaders and tell them to talk to their communities and let them know we're organizing something so that we can get together because we, we can't weather this too much more longer. Not that we wouldn't survive. I mean, we're like the cockroaches of the reality. Like, we're beetles. <laughs> we don't be here. We're like, it's about the condition. Like I said, I'm not trying to go back to the Stone Age. Like, we got uh -huh. plans. Like, this dude talking about uh, 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 canceling gravity and levitation, right? That's what Terrence is, you know, he's talking about l less friction within generators. And, you know, we're talking about damn near perpetual power. So mm -hmm. when you have perpetual power, you then need facility. You need basically to manufacture something. You got to turn that power. See, that's what Tesla did. He built a big solar farm and all that kind of stuff to power the factories that make the cars right other than that you just got a bunch of power so look at the world that we're in like we got this huge sun out here right with all this power but then the converter is us and our narrative and how we feel and how many other beings that are with us that we can low balance Right. That's why that seven wheel is so strong is because every single person is in those archetypes. You ain't going to miss nobody in I Ching. You ain't going to miss no situation that happened here in the physical reality with 64 codons. There's nothing that you can't a scenario that you can't create.
Mm. You see what I mean? So we have it all here, and it's just like, this is the glorious time to unpack it. And just like this thing says, this is the last thought. You went through all of this to get to the ideal state and paradise. The labors come first. So if you figure that you're in this life and this life has been super shitty to you, right? Like I've been there, right? Like I visit that sometime, right? Mm -hmm. And you are destined, destined for greatness because this is the formula. You go through the labors and the challenges and that's right now. So it's like eating the things that taste bad on your plate first. Mm. And mm-hmm. then working on the stuff that you know that tastes good, right? And that's mm-hmm. that's the process that we're in right now. So, honest everybody, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, yeah, I love the way you ended that.